Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Axiom Verge. Well, it is time for the 100%. And wow, are things in this game a little bit more complicated than I originally thought. Um, I understand everything now. And I'll, I'll whoa. I'll get to that soon. But yeah, first, let's um, find all the items here. I'm not sure which one of these I've actually found. Oh, well, that was well hidden. Yeah, I ain't dealing with that. Okay, now, for this... Where is the enemy? Here he is. Now, this is actually kind of clever. Like, I read about how to do this, but if I'd gotten over here, I probably would have figured this out myself eventually, but... Yeah, um, see, when you glitch these enemies, like, you kind of notice it before, but yeah, they move in whatever direction you move, so you gotta get this enemy to come all the way up here. And then, yeah, you can make him hit the crystal. And then we can go down here. And, uh, somewhere around here. It should be. There it is. Got the reverse slicer. Sounds kind of like a boomerang a little bit. It is like a boomerang. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's really nice that it can go up through things like that. Yep, screw you, goodbye. Oh yeah, by the way, um, if you don't kill that um, thing in there, you apparently, I, well, I would assume that's how you get the Mercy achievement. I'm not sure if that affects or changes anything. Also, yep. There's the size node. Another size node. Is that... No, we still got more stuff to find. Oh, this is really nice, by the way. Yeah, that's a good way to get past those. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait, what? What the heck? How does that even work? I don't even know. Apparently if you glitch them and then go into the uh, next room... Like, they appear in here. That... That almost seems like a game glitch in and of itself. I think I have to glitch, glitch dash down here. All right. What does this one say? Oh, this is what that is. I know, I read about this one.
With its name as the key. Yeah, remember that uh, flame weapon in, in Iribu? Yeah. We're gonna go back to that pretty soon. Sweet! Final area fully complete. Okay, so while we're on the way back to here, I think this would actually be a good time to explain some stuff. So, yeah, first off, about those weird items and areas that I just could not seem to reach and get into. Well, it turns out that there are actually passwords in this game that actually change the environment. They change the rooms so that you actually can access stuff, and that never even crossed my mind. Like, not even... Like, it didn't even cross my mind for a second that something like that might actually be possible. Because you never had to do anything else like that in the game. Like, it's like, th like nothing in this game was ever really puzzle-oriented outside of using a weapon to hit a switch or something. Like, nothing in this game was ever really all that puzzly. But, yeah. <laughs> um, in order to get some of these things, you basically have to solve, I, I would say, some almost La Mulana level puzzles. Okay, maybe not that ridiculous, but... Yeah, it's, um... There's some stuff that we need to do. And I will say that, um, I actually, like, yeah, I, I read what the passwords are, but, you know, since they're not very memorable, I, I literally don't remember them, but I know how you get them and how to figure them out, so... You know, like, yeah, to, to, like, make it fair with the password thing, let, let, let's go and actually, you know, get the passwords. Ah, uh, you guys know what I mean. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just gonna read up on them and just, you know, input them like that. I want to actually get them the way the game wants you to get them. We already have one of them, because it comes from that, uh, you know, that proverb note, but... Um... What am I doing? I'm actually not entirely certain where these take effect, but first let's go up here. Also, there might be other stuff in here somewhere um, that I'm passing up right now, but that's, that's because I want to get these out of the way first and foremost. Oh, wait, no, not this way. Ah. Well, I guess while we're heading there, something else I'll explain is in regard to the secret areas. Um, it turns out there are actually... See, um, every time you start a new game on this game, there are five secret areas that appear randomly throughout the game. And, you know, when I said things were a lot more complicated than I thought, this is kind of what I had in mind. Um... See, it turns out that the secret areas, um, there's two easy ones, two medium ones, and one hard one for save file. And each secret area has, um, yeah, e each secret area, it has, I believe, two items. And, and no, like, secrets within it either. So, you know, I was wondering if the secret areas had any, um, you know, like, I was wondering if the secret areas had any, uh, hidden paths or anything in them, well, they actually don't, so you don't have to worry about that. But it turns out the secret areas do not count towards percentage. They do not count toward your map or your item percentage. So the, the items that you get in the secret areas are actually bonuses. And on top of that, there is apparently a chance that one of three extremely powerful weapons will appear in one of these secret areas. Somewhere in the game. And you can only get one of them per save file. But thankfully, they do not count toward the percentage or anything. But yeah, I, like, I have no idea which one of those I'm going to get. Because there's no way to know until you get it. But yeah. And also, um... Oh. Oh, yeah. See, the entrances to the secret areas as well are completely random. And there's, like... Every map has, like, 20-something different, um 
locations where the secret area could potentially be, so... I'm gonna have to scout all over to find those, because I, I do want to do the last three secret areas that I haven't done, even if they don't count towards anything. I still want to do them, just cause, but... Anyway, you're probably wondering, what are we here for? Well... <sighs> yeah, look at that up there at the top. Um, Iki... Ikibu... La Labiru. Ikibu Labiru. That is one of the passwords you need. I kid you not. So yeah, it's been a while since I inputted the password. Okay. That was like right in my face the whole time, but I just like, I never even thought to look for something like that. But that's really clever. Also, apparently that's written in Sudrin, and you have to either manually translate it yourself or, uh, you know, use the reveal Sudrin. Well, would you look at that? But yeah, you have to either uh, manually translate it yourself or uh, use the reveal Sudrin code to get it. But anyway, yes. <laughs> It's very clever, I'll give it that. It's just... Like, I never even imagined you would have to do stuff like that. You know, when absolutely nothing else in the game, like, ever required anything even remotely similar to it. Like, I never would have guessed that that's what I had to do. So, what do we got here? What are we coming up to? Okay, I can definitely see where this is coming to. Well, there we go. Okay, so then, let's, um, yeah, let's go down to that one. Oh yeah, um, remember how one of those, um, little caterpillar enemies dropped an energy? I mean, it dropped a life node fragment, or a health node fragment earlier? Um, it turns out that that, that, that can happen with any of them. And it's the first one in the game that you glitch, apparently. So I guess I hadn't glitched one until then. Okay. Oh no, I forgot about these things. Okay, so then. Let's see. Where was that? Uh, where's Proverbs at? Here we go. Uh, Dinger Gizbar. At least I'm fairly certain that's the code. Please work. Aha, there we go. And our reward is... The flamethrower. Yeah, I bet you couldn't guess that. Now, I hear this thing is OP. It probably is. At least I, th I don't know. At least I think people may have said it was OP. I imagine that considering the effort it takes to actually get it, it probably is. Plus, I mean, it's a freaking flamethrower. Come on. Okay, now let's uh actually get to cracking on, you know, the remainder of the items in this area. Okay, now here is one of those... Uh, th 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 this is one of those... Well, honestly, it's probably the only one. 
but th th this is what I would say is bordering on a La Mulana level of vague. Okay, now notice that up there. Uh, also, first off, yeah, I've seen this passcode. I actually accidentally just saw it again, although I don't, I didn't really catch the second part of it, so I'm still gonna have to do this. But um, yeah, see the uh, Sudrin characters up there. You actually have to manually translate that into an English password. <laughs> yeah, and the only way to actually, I, I, I think, as far as I know, the only way to actually get, um. I may be wrong, but I think the only way to actually, like, get a Sudren, um, you know, like a Sudren, uh, character sheet is to, like, manually, uh, figure, like, uh, you know what I mean, like, I, I think you have to, like, turn reveal Sudren on and off, and you have to, like, look at the notes in Sudren and, like, write down the characters and then look at it in English and figure out, like, you know, which Sudren character corresponds with which English letter, and you gotta, like, build your own cipher, basically, but thankfully I actually have a cipher, so I can decipher this thing. So let's do that. Wait, I wonder, could I possibly... Hold on. I want to get this so that I can... It'll do. Okay. So yeah, let's, um... Start translating this thing. So that character on the top, that would be... Mm, let's see... It's like a diamond with a line through it on the right, if I find that on the cipher. That would be D. And then... Okay, D, A. See, that one is... Huh, what is that one? Oh, that's, uh... Hold on, what line is that? Wait. I think it's an I. Okay, let's see, the next one... Oh, wow, what is that? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the K. It's right next to it. Okay, let's see. Okay, this... Oh, that one should be easy to find. That's weird. There's two diamonds. It could either be an... Oh, 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 wait, oh. Oh, never mind. It's an H. I, I just realized. Um, I, I just realized there's uh, yeah, the, the yeah, there's two of them. There's two each. One for the capital and one for the lowercase. But this is all capital anyway. Okay, let's see. The la last one for this. Oh man, we're only half done with this. Um, I think it's a U. Uh, I sincerely hope I'm getting this right. Okay, the next one is... Okay, hold on. That would be... Oh, there it is. It's, um... A? No, 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 not A, not A. I'm looking at the wrong one. Um... It's like a... It's like a broken rectangle, kind of. Right, okay, it's an S. Oh. Well... Wait, what was that one? Is that a U? Hold on. Okay, yeah, that's a repeat, and... 
Ah, the next one doesn't appear to be a repeat, though. What are you looking for? Oh, that's, um... I think that's a B. Yes, that is a B. And the next one is... Hmm. Didn't I just see that one a little bit ago? Oh, there it is. Uh, let's, let's see. Okay, fourth row. Yeah, fourth row down. Three, five characters to the right. That would be T. I hope. Okay. Oh, I think that's a U again. Okay, and the last one kind of looks similar to the S, but it's something else. Man, I sincerely hope I am doing this right. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, it's, uh, okay. Three rows down, three to the left. M, okay. Please work. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Did I get it wrong? Oh, did I get it wrong? I just spent like, I don't even know, I think like 15 minutes trying to work that out. Okay, well, I gave it a fair shot. <sighs> Unless I did put it in right. Darn it, I was one off! Shoot! <laughs> Wait, I didn't know you could- oh, I didn't know you could just edit it. I thought I'd have to re-put the entire thing over. Shoot. Um... Hold on, wait. Yeah, it's not an I, it's an L. There, we did it. <laughs> Shoot, well I was really, really close, at least. Darn, if I'd known you could just edit it, I probably wouldn't have checked that. I would have just... Ah, whatever. Hey, I think that... I think that there's the weapon we're after. I wonder if this is the last of the map in here. <laughs> Remember when these things were a huge threat? I know I do. Okay, orbital discharge. Clings to and travels along any surface it hits. Where is that? Oh. Wow. That would be devastating to... Okay, we got all the map, but not all the items. Well then, where is the remaining stuff? Where are the remaining things? Okay, I think the next one is up here. Yeah, there we go. And we got another power node fragment. Is there anything over here, though? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, that's everything! Okay, sweet! Hey, wow, we're real close to the exit, too! Awesome! Well then, let's uh, head on down to... Um... Whatever. And it's snowing again here, apparently. It's just been crazy. It goes from snow to comfortable 50, 60 degree weather to snow to wind to snow to... Yeah. Let's see now. Ah, that's something I did not get. Wow, guess what room it's in. Oh, hey, yeah, that's right. Elsa Nova's actually gone from down here. Oh, yeah, also... Turns out there's a glitch platform there. That's how you were actually supposed to get up to that note. 
If you guessed this room where I thought nothing could possibly be hidden, you're correct. And I think it's down here. Wait, I think it's in this room. Wait, is it in this room? Yeah, it seems to be. Wait, how do you get in here? Ah, there we go. Yep, that was there. And I'm surprised I didn't see it before. Or maybe I did and just completely forgot about it. Oops. Okay, what's left? Oh, that's right! We never even explored that area down here! Or down there! Let's go do that now! I completely forgot about that! I felt like I was forgetting something here! Is that magma? You know, the flamethrower can aim up. Why am I not doing that? That's everything! Cool! Okay, well, I... Yeah, I think we're almost done with this one. We're almost done with Z. Probably just like one or two things we don't have from there. Wait, did I just find something on my own? Oh, I did. It's not even what I was going for. Well, good. Yeah, here's a thing I straight up missed. Storm Talisman. this around here? Well, there we go. Okay. Wow. Who'd have thought? Yeah, this was there. <laughs> okay, what is this weapon like? I don't know. 
That could have been good if we gotten it way earlier, but I think the flamethrower is the superior fire weapon. Um... Hey, hold on. What is this? Yeah, you can tell when I'm finding something on my own randomly. What is this? This is definitely a thing that I did not get. Okay, cool. <laughs> How awesome would it be if that was the last... Okay, well, that was the last of the map, but there's still more items. Apparently, there is a thing around here. Oh, this must be it. Ion Beam. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's, it's like the laser beam that those little uh, laser bugs fire. <gasps> That's everything! Sweet! Okay, so, yeah, first off, let's go ahead and delete one of these. Um, I'll go ahead and, yeah, clear that one because we don't need it anymore. Okay, now, these little shrub enemies here. First, you gotta glitch them. Now, you might have seen before that when we glitch this... There. Yeah, see? They spell something out. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really get a good chance to read that one. Okay, hold on. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to destroy it. I think there's more down here, though. But yes, that's how you get the code to get in here. What a pain. Wait. Was that an L? I think it said L-I-S. I'm gonna have to input it one by one. Oh, wait. Oh, right, you can't... Okay, fine. I'll just type it up then. Oh, this should make it pretty easy to crack anyway. Okay. L-I-S-K-A-R T-E-H A N Z. Okay, hopefully I got that right. Now please die before you kill me! Yeah, hold on. Let's get back up here first. Uh, okay then. Let's see. Hopefully I read that right. Try it again. I, I, I gotta be close. At least I can just edit it. I S K O. I S K. A. Darn it. I know it's I-S-K. I-S-K-A-R-T. E. 
H A N Z U? Wow. If that's what it is, I was way off. <laughs> okay, let's see. E H A N Z U. Yes! Get out of here. Okay. Oh, it opens that up down there. Okay. Well, we gotta go this way then. And there's the thing we were trying to get the whole time. What is it? Quantum... Var variegator? Okay, seriously, what? Oh yeah, that's the uh that, that's the attack the Sentinel was using against us, wasn't it? Huh. Okay, well, while we're here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the entrances to the hard secret world, because, yeah, it's like, if it's here, I wanna find it now. It may be somewhere else, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Just to give you guys an idea of how ridiculous finding these secret world entrances are, or is gonna be, um, take a look at this image. First off, credit to the Axiom Verge Wiki for this, but, yeah, see, every single one of those little, uh, colored... Yeah, well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but yes, every single one of those little colored squares is a possible entrance to a secret world. Yeah, I'm gonna have to search every single one of those. The good news is that, um... Well, you see, it's, it's like... Each, um, each area of the game can only have one secret world in it, though, so you can't have multiple secret world entrances in a single area. So due to this, um, you know, we already found all, or we already found the secret world in, uh, in Kerr, and in, uh, Z, or whatever the second area is called. Why is it that I always forget what that one is called? <laughs> <coughs> But, yeah, we already found those, so right now I'm just gonna have to search the rest of, um, e e Kurma. Okay, one of the possible entrances is right around here. One thing you can look out for, though, is when you're near, like, when you're near a secret world, um... You, you, you'll start to have some screen distortion, so if I don't see any screen distortion whatsoever when in a general area, it's probably safe to just move on. Alright, I'm pretty confident that I found one. Look look here. L look closely at the health bar when, you, when I jump near here. See how it becomes interlaced looking for just a brief moment? That's how you can kind of tell when you're near one of these things. Okay. It's gotta be this one right here. Maybe I have to drill into it? That's it! I know that's it! Oh. Wait, I make it? Oh, cool!
What, this is supposed to be a medium difficulty bonus world? This is really easy. I mean, I know I have, like, almost all the upgrades, but, like, I was expecting it to be, like... I don't know, like, I was expecting it to have really difficult enemies and stuff like that. I guess there wouldn't be anything. Oh yeah, one more thing I- oh yeah, I forgot to mention something about the secret worlds. Um, believe it or not, they're actually procedurally generated. So whenever you, like, play- like, whenever you start a new game and you find the secret worlds, their layout's actually random. Okay, there is... bonus... uh, life orb number- or fragment number three, I guess. Make sure we haven't missed any paths, okay. Well, I guess that's it for this one then. Alright then. So, we found uh, both easy secret worlds and one medium secret world, so that means now there's only one more medium and then the one hard secret world left to do. And that actually narrows things down by a lot, because since we got both of the easy ones, that means, um, yeah, that's a lot of stuff knocked off the list. Well, really, it's only one area, but... Yeah. Okay, so that means... Yeah. Okay, so... The medium... Okay, so yeah, the medium secret area, it has to be in, um... Hold on. Who can, uh, yeah. This has to be where it is, the other medium secret area. And the hard secret area? Well, it could be in either... It could be in either Eden, or it could be here, in Maru. And I need to go back to Eden anyway to find the rest of the items, so... Well, actually, I need to go to Ukenna to find the rest of the items, too. Oh, yeah, these two areas are the only things we have left. Wow, we are very close. Oh, hold up. Oh, it's here! But where? Is it down? Found it. Okay, so here is the second and final medium secret world. say, this one seems a little more complicated, but it's really not. I mean, it's straightforward, but I don't know. The, uh, I guess it may just be the tile sets, but looks a little more... I don't, it's probably just because of this stuff, like reaching across the middle of some of the rooms. It kind of looks like it's more complicated than it really is, but yeah. I guess not. Hold on. What's this way? I mean, even if, that, even if that was there to block you and turn the rooms into, like, a maze, I guess it wouldn't really matter, because, you know, we can teleport anyway. Wait, is that a real door? Yeah, apparently it is.
then why can't I go up there? It's appearing as a door on the map, so I think it's real. Maybe I can come down through it. Oh, I guess I can. All right. Darn, I was hoping it might be the secret weapon. Okay, that's just a size node. Okay, I guess the secret weapon must be in the hard one then. Makes sense. Well then, now that we got that done, what do we actually need to find here? Okay, so apparently there is a way to get further up here. Hold on, wait. Can I jump on this? No. Okay, I might have to do a glitch here. Wait. Um, you remember that floating head that was floating around here earlier? Yeah, apparently you're supposed to shoot the drone into the mouth of that and it'll carry you up so you can access some stuff up here, but since that, uh, didn't work... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do this. Now, if you wonder what the heck I'm doing... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Basically, um, well, it's like you shoot the drone up, and as soon as you, um, teleport with the drone, you activate the drill to reset the drone's, uh, cooldown timer, and then you can, like, just infinitely jump up, basically. I'm guessing that's the only way to get up there if you don't, uh, get that earlier in the game. I think it's an actual glitch, like an unintended glitch, but I don't know. I guess it's the only way to get that at this point. Ah, forget it. Oh, okay, that ain't gonna work either. There, whatever, I did it. And what is our reward? Turbine Pulse. Interesting. Hmm, looks like we got more stuff to find. Ah, that's a thing I missed. Okay, here's the thing I missed. Somewhere. Okay, I guess I have to get to it from down below. 
Oh, there we go. Go ahead and break these two, because why not? Oh, hey, 100% power. Awesome. Is that the last thing here? It is. Okay, then. All we have left is the Eden items and the hard world, which is in Eden. It has to be. Oh, dang, this is actually pretty powerful. What the heck? Wait, I never got this before? <laughs> so it's like an ice gun? Okay. Well, unfortunately, I could not find the secret world anywhere here in Eden, so it must be in the final area. However... There does seem to be something up here. It has something to do with glitching the worms, so... Let's see what this does. Oh, there we go. Another weapon? How many do we have left? Still five more to find. Wait, that couldn't be right. Oh no, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Three of those slots belong to the secret weapons, right? Oh wait, I just got 100% weapons. Oh, okay, so I guess there's like one space that'll always be empty then. Okay, what else is left in this area? Oh, I see something I missed. Oh yeah, I hadn't actually tried this weapon yet. Huh. Oh, hey, a note. Wait, there's still a room we haven't found here? What am I missing? Huh? Oh, whoa, hello. Okay, I definitely missed something. You guys will see what that something is pretty soon. By the way, I saw one of them cocoons doing something kind of freaky earlier. I think maybe they only do it if you get near them, but it was like shooting tentacles out. I'm not exactly sure how you make it do that. Oh, there you go. Actually, I'm not sure if those were even cocoons. But anyway, there is something... Something up here. I don't know how, but apparently there is something at the top of this room. Whoops.
I'm gonna guess I'm supposed to grapple. Wait, I think I might know what it is. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is what you're supposed to do. I mean, let's be real, how else are you gonna even get up there unless... Oh, 100% map! Awesome! Is this our final item then? Yes, 100% health. Wait, there's still an item left in here? What do we have left to get? Oh, it must be a power node fragment or something. Either that or a note. So I got a few notes left to find. I think we missed something in here. Did we get this? Oh, we did not. That is a note. One hundred percent notes, one hundred percent items. Oh, we did it. We've done it, everyone. Well then, all that's left is to get that last secret area, and it has to be in the final area. Fittingly enough. Oh yeah, I guess what I just discovered. Um, depending on how hard you press down R2. Yeah, the drill extends for different lengths. Kinda pointless, I guess, but interesting. <gasps> Wait, I see it! Yes, I was starting to get a little worried that I might have actually missed it somewhere. Found it. Alright then. The secret weapon has gotta be in here. Of course, I knew it was going to be filled with these enemies. Why wouldn't it be? Can I stand on this here? Okay, good. I wonder what was up that door down there. Hopefully it's a way back.
Okay, that is what this is. Oh! Well, I'm glad I can actually go this way. Kinda weird that that one wouldn't move. That's a good spot. What is this? Ah, the final life fragment. Well, I guess that means that the other way must hold the weapon. Oh, I thought that'd be it. A little bit further to go, it seems. Alright, this has got to be it. There it is! What is this? Heat Seeker. Well, that looks kind of underwhelming. Let's see how powerful it actually is. Okay, it's completely garbage against these things. Okay, you know what? Let's just die. Well then. That's it. We've done it. We have 100%ed Axiom Verge. Oh, man. I've really enjoyed Axiom Verge, but I'm glad to have this done. Now, but before, um, before we stop, though, there's a couple more things. Hold on a sec. There's a couple of passcodes that I've been curious about. I didn't want to do anything with them until I was done with the game. But let's try... Yeah, fans of Metroid will know what this is referencing. I kid you not, if you input Justin Bailey, you get... Yes. We are going to go fight Athetos in a Speedo. But before that, there's one more thing we're going to do. There's actually a lot of different passcodes. I'm, I'm not going to input all of them. But there is one more that looks interesting. It's basically a cheat code, but I, I, I just want to see what it does. I mean, I know what it does, but I'm very curious, and it might be really funny if I use it against the final boss. Let's see... I don't know how you're supposed to get these. Like, I have no idea how you're actually supposed to get these codes, but... yeah. I I'm not going to tell you what this one does, but you guys will see. Hopefully it'll be ridiculous. Okay, 2196.
Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, that's it? I mean, yeah, it, it said that it, um, it said that it gave a big drill and big projectiles. I, I was hoping it would be like the ginor, that ginormo sword flash game where it just takes up the entire screen. That would have been utterly ridiculous. Oh, darn. That's kind of disappointing. I, I'm just going to turn that back off then, because I'm just curious what that would do. Well, time to go fight a Thetos one more time. This time I'm gonna probably destroy him with a Heat Seeker. The only reason I'm doing this is because I am curious if we're gonna get that other ending or other part of the ending. Okay, so this gun is powerful. The only problem is can't hit this with it. <laughs> I think the flamethrower is the best. Oh yeah, flamethrower is definitely the best. Oh man, this is just devastation. Well, that was significantly easier than before. Well, okay, that that was it. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna be uh, cutting out everything I just said before that <laughs> because um, I just like I was like, okay, well, it didn't happen, so this is what happened in this ending, in this other ending that some people have supposedly gotten, and then it happened like right then. So, um, yeah, I don't want to spoil that before it happens, but anyway. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing you get that either for 100% items or 100% map or both, but yeah, it's like another Athetos just shows up and shoots you, and that's the real ending, I guess? Anyway, that is it for Axiom Verge. I hope you all enjoyed, and well, before we end this, I want to give a really big thanks to... Uh, Solaris32 for the fantastic item guide that I use to 100% the game, and also to uh, the Axiom Verge wiki for that image that I use to find the, you know, the secret world entrances. Anyway, that is it. So then, see you next time everyone, I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. <laughs>